The doctor told me that if anything happened, he had five minutes to save mine and the baby's life. I was homeless. I was strung out on methamphetamines. My mom and my oldest son, she had taken him and moved out with him. And neither one of them wanted anything to do with me. And when I got admitted to BSA, um, the chaplain that came in, her name was Tammy, and she would come in and she would ask me, is it okay if I pray with you? And I was like, yeah, I guess you can pray with me. I mean, I guess, like God doesn't do anything. Once my son was born, they took him to the NICU. Tammy would come visit us in the NICU all the time and she kept praying and I told her, I said, you know, I said, CPS is gonna take him and I don't know what's gonna happen to me. It was crazy because that was the first time I ever felt in my life like somebody loved me enough to care about me um, just because I was a human. January of 2017, I celebrated one year, and she came with me to get my one-year chip. God didn't get me this far to just get me this far. I called Tammy and I told her, and I was going to the Harrington Cancer Center, and Tammy said, well, let her know whenever I was doing chemo, and she would come visit. But I really believe that if Tammy hadn't been there and showed me, you know, how to pray and showed me who her God was and everything that I probably wouldn't be who I am today. She tells me I give her too much credit and I don't think she understands the magnitude of her impact on my life.